Hey everybody, I'm in Christmas card mode right now, and I did an either very foolish thing or a very awesome thing. <laughs> I'm going to show you the chaos on my craft table right now. I bought this kit, and I'm not going to try to put it up back together to show you guys what came in it, but essentially I did go for a day and part of a day to creating keepsakes. That was when we lost Gizmo that weekend. And I just I just couldn't do it the first day. I, I went and picked up a kit for a big project, a big class that I signed up for and then left. And then I went the next day for half the day and I bought this kit to make 25 homemade Christmas cards. And it was a $25 for the kit and then I had a $5 coupon for taking a creating keepsakes class. So I mean, I get 25 homemade Christmas cards for $20. Well, anyway, I, um, and here's all the little embellishments that came with it. And it tells you how to make each card with the supplies. So it's really a, a neat, neat kit. And they're really pretty cards. They're fun cards. S and they're fun to make. So back to the point of this. I joined a Christmas card exchange group with a scrapbooking group that I used to be really active with. They do a yearly Christmas card exchange. You have to sign up by October the 1st. And there are at least 200 names on the list. Okay. Now, these are people all over the world. Mostly United States and North America, but all over the world. You don't have to send 200 cards. You don't have to send the international cards. You don't have to send all homemade cards. You can send some store-bought cards. The point being is that we're spreading holiday cheer to each other, and especially people that don't exchange physical cards anymore in real life. And unfortunately, I don't really have many people in my life that do, and I miss that. So I signed up for the Christmas card group. I think I'm going to do all the domestic names on the list and probably try to do some of the the international people as well. Um, and if that wasn't enough, <laughs> the private swap group that I belong to, that I do the, the pocket letter, the group of four pocket letters, and the other craft swap, we're doing Christmas cards too, but that should only be like maybe 10, 15 people. But if that wasn't enough, yet there's more. If any of you guys want to exchange Christmas cards with me, I'm going to have a post office box up by the end of the month because I need to do this, this Christmas craziness via post office box. So anyone who sends me a card gets a card. It may not be a homemade card, but it'll be a card. And I have so many store-bought cards. I'm one of those people that at the end of the season, when the department stores like Macy's and Dillard's and and then the you know nicer discount stores like TJ Maxx start marking the Christmas stuff down to 50 and 75% off, I go in and dig through the, the piles of Christmas cards and pick out a few boxes of beautiful cards. I only end up sending like two or three out a year, so I have a stockpile of Christmas cards. So, so at least 25 people are going to get homemade cards. I've also got supplies to make more homemade cards, but I'm going to try to go ahead and send out some of my stockpile of, of purchased cards too. So if anyone wants to get in on this Christmas card madness this year, I'll have that post office box up. I'm going to start sending out Christmas cards the 1st of December. So, or the Monday after Thanksgiving, I have set myself a goal to do four to five cards, homemade cards a day, or sign four to five store-bought cards a day. I want to have 250 cards ready come Black Friday, or the Monday after Thanksgiving. So, that's my challenge. We'll see if I can do it. Nonetheless, there's going to be a lot of Christmas card action going on in my house. So I will keep you guys updated. So anyone else getting crazy with Christmas cards this year? Let me know. Bye-bye.